हेलो फ्रेंड्स now the next important topic of mos capacitor is the flat band voltage i will be taking again a mos capacitor with p substrate this is the mos capacitor i'll be talking about that is with p substrate here this is oxide this is gate terminal this is metal fine so uh, we have seen in previous topic that is known as work function difference the work function difference is basically that is the drop across or you can say the induced voltage across the oxide layer and depletion layer when there is no external voltage applied in when there is no external voltage that is because of what because of the work function difference between or we can say the difference between work function of metal and semiconductor in a practical device the work function of metal is always less than the work function of p type substrate when you connect a metal oxide and semiconductor with metal work function of metal less than the work function of semiconductor or uh, you can just see my previous video there is bending of the energy bands on the substrate side on the semiconductor side downward like this and there is again bending of the conduction band on oxide also so because of what because of the work function difference of metal and work function of the semiconductor because of this difference fine and that work function difference is given by this relationship you can refer my previous video for that this work function difference is nothing but the work function of the metal minus work function of the semiconductor at steady state fine so work function of semiconductor is this so that is what you have seen in my previous lecture or previous video so the flat band voltage is nothing but the voltage to make these bands flat and that voltage is how much the this voltage plus this voltage that is equal to work function uh, difference so if you want to make it flat i want to make these bands flat like this i need to connect some external voltage to the capacitor that voltage is known as flat band voltage and that voltage is mathematically equal to the work function difference so flat band voltage is nothing but voltage required to make the bands flat at oxide semiconductor interface and that voltage required to make the band flat is equal to the work function difference and work function difference is nothing but work function of metal minus work function of semiconductor remember the work function of semiconductor in p type substrate is always more than the work function of metal therefore the work function difference is always negative if this is more than this work function difference is always negative for a semi for a mos capacitor with p type of substrate that's what i wanted to say so if it is negative if this is negative so flat band voltage is always negative so flat band voltage is always negative for mos capacitor with what mos capacitor with p type substrate that's the point you need to remember there can be one mark question on it so i hope the concept is clear flat band voltage is nothing but voltage to be applied across the mos capacitor to flatten to flat make the bands flat at oxide semiconductor interface like this and that and this will also be flat in that case so that voltage is nothing but equal to the work function difference that's the mathematical relationship but there is one assumption we have carried here that assumption is the net charge net charge in oxide region is always zero charges are either on metal side or on semiconductor side that is the assumption but in practical conditions there may be some charges trapped trapped well trapped in the oxide layer and in fact there are the charges a semiconductor always has some charges trapped in the oxide region fine so here we will see i will uh, take that uh, 
topic into consideration that is nothing but the charges uh, trapped in the oxide layer but for the time being when there are no charges trapped in the oxide layer the flat band voltage is equal to the work function difference and work function difference is always negative for the MOS capacitor with P type of substrate fine so special case I will be taking which is that special case special case which, which is a special case when oxide layer has trapped positive charge Q uh, that is QX and remember in practical condition during fabrication of the device there are always some trapped charges on the oxide semiconductor interface that is on this side in in fact oxide has some charges trapped in this region that is oxide semiconductor interface and let that charge is qx fine so when you don't have any voltage applied here when there is no voltage applied and there are trapped charges so semiconductor won't be having total net charge will be zero so these positive charges will induce negative charges on the metal gate so total charge on the metal plus total charge in the oxide will be equal to zero why to maintain the neutrality of the material so now what will be the qm qm will be equal to minus of qx and we know the capacitance of oxide or you can say what is the voltage across the oxide that voltage across the oxide will be equal to minus q or you can say qm by c naught x it is a capacitor so charge on the metal divided by the capacitance of side and that is equal to minus qx upon c naught x this is the additional voltage which have come into picture in addition to v naught x plus that is phi s naught so i will say the flat band voltage is equal to minus q s plus c naught x plus phi m s that is the additional voltage which will be required for that so flat band voltage in this case will be equal to minus qx by that is c naught x plus phi ms why this has come because of the charges trapped in the oxide region so flat band voltage will definitely change it will increase rather because it is negative it is negative so flat band voltage will increase because of the trapped positive charges in the trapped positive charges in the uh, oxide layer and uh, uh, rather than saying increase or decrease that that depends upon qx qx is always positive here so if it is qx is positive so you will have that change in the flat band voltage of the uh, mos capacitor with p type of substrate so just remember this question there can be question on this and what is phi ms phi ms is nothing but the work function of metal minus work function of semiconductor and what is phi s i have already given that is electron affinity plus half of the band gap by 2q plus phi f what is phi f that is the difference between the intrinsic formidable and actual formidable on the semiconductor side so uh, this is all about the flat band voltage again there can be question on flat band and you just need to remember whatever i have discussed with you uh, now i'll be taking the next very important topic that is the threshold voltage of mos capacitor in my next video thank you for watching